Welcome to the Spa Girls podcast, the self-publishing podcast for authors. You're in the right place for the best writing, marketing and publishing advice, plus interviews with industry experts and best-selling authors. I'm Cheryl Phipps. I'm Shar Barrett. I'm Wendy Bella. And we've got Trudy J with us today too, but she's uh, on mute she's because she's got a lot mute. of work being done. And she's got builders and all sorts at her place. <laughs> she's just hanging around in the background there. <laughs> <laughs> just in case we do something wrong, she probably makes some yeah. hand signals or something. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, in the spa with us today, we've got the lovely Kathleen Sweetney from Book Brush. Um, I'm just going to... Hey, Kathleen. I'm just going to, um, I, I don't have a, a long bio, but I'd like to tell you that Kathleen loves creating images. She brings over 17 years of client service experience, business assurance, strategy and problem solving to Bookbrush. And she's happy to help authors. I'm sure you have, you help a lot of other people as well. But for today, it's all about us. So Kathleen, how are you? I am great and so happy to be here today. Thanks. And, and actually, you've been here before, and um, I certainly get a lot out of your presentations, and mm. um, you've always got some new stuff happening over at Bookbrush Book now. So if you haven't heard about Bookbrush, Kathleen, would you like to tell our, our listeners about it? Oh, I sure would. I would love to. So, <laughs> uh, Bookbrush is an online platform that we designed specifically for authors. So, you know, there are a lot of nice design tools out there but they're not all designed specifically with the author in mind. So everything in Bookbrush is author-centered. Every time you turn around, you'll find something else in one handy marketing toolbox. Like we probably sit around here thinking, hmm, what could we add next for authors? And then we add it. So I'm excited to show you some of the newer features today um, once we're ready. Brilliant. Well, I think um, we'll just get straight into it because uh, one thing that's been fascinating me and I've actually been I'd like to say using, but it's probably been learning as I go, and that is book trailers. So give us the heads up on that, Kathleen. All right. So I'm going to do this with a screen sharing because, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words and it's a lot easier to build this as we go along. And that gives you a glimpse of the book brush tool. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And just while and, Kathleen is doing this, just a reminder to folk that uh, we have our YouTube channel where this will be posted on if you're listening to this podcast, right. so you can go and see everything that we're seeing now from Kathleen's screen. Makes life a lot easier. Yeah, good And I'll do my best to describe it so it sounds um, it, to your hearing ears uh, appealing, and then when you get to watch it on YouTube, you can see the rest of the bits and pieces fall into place. So I'm going to jump into what we here in Book Brush Land call the trailer creator. And that is where you can make a book trailer. And if this has been something that's been um, intimidating for you or out of your reach, we're excited to say we think even um, some non-tech savvy people could whip up a book trailer. So we will do that together. Um, on the screen in the center, it says choose a tool to begin. And I'm going to click right into trailer creator. And just a side note on Book Brush, if you're new to Book Brush, we have a free plan and then we have three tiers of paid plans. This is on the top plan that's called Platinum, but on the other paid plans, you can try a book trailer and save it as a project. It would just have a watermark, but it lets you try your hand at things in here. So what I'm gonna demonstrate with a book trailer is starting with a community template. In any tool in Book Brush, the community templates are a great place to start. Essentially, that's something that we at Bookbrush put together for you as a user as a great starting point instead of starting from scratch. So it's super handy and gives you some tips and a design eye if you don't have one. And that's okay. You don't have to have one. You're busy writing. You should get in here and do this stuff. <laughs> you make it easy. <laughs> so I'm going to click on the left in community templates here. And you can filter by different um, genres if you want to. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on one of these. So it's um, there's a whole grid work of community templates. I'll click on the one on the top left here. And then in the top stripe, you can toggle between easy and advanced. Go into easy mode. This is where you're going to feel the best. So we'll go to easy mode. And before we do any editing or build this ourselves, I'm going to play it for you so you can see and hear what we're starting with. The play button is down here in the lower left corner. There's a play button. And then somebody thumbs up me as long as you can hear it once we push play. I 
those listening, we are going through the following really cool, I should say, intro to the book trailer. We'll pause yeah. there. It goes a couple more seconds, but yeah. so just to describe what we just played, there are four different scenes and text boxes popping up, and then you can personalize that for, for your uh, particular genre, your book, things like that. Mm-hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm making a Christmas book trailer. I thought about this th- today. Well, it's it's afternoon for me. So I'll say I thought about it this morning. I'm like, you know what? We're doing Christmas theme here. <laughs> And I'll show you how easy you can modify this. So we'll click in the center here for get started at the bottom. And then we'll just walk our way through making your own book trailer. So what you'll see at the bottom are a series of little circles. Each one of these represents one of the things, one of the elements or a background text box. Those are each of the things that you're going to edit. So the first thing that's highlighted here is a music note. In this case, you can replace the audio or leave it. This is the only place in BookBrush where you can choose your own music and upload your own. So this makes um, it really uh, easy to personalize what's here. We offer over 100 types of commercial free music here on the left, and it's categorized by bright, emotional, epic, romantic, dark, and I've got a hidden gem alert here, the My Music tab. Of course, you can upload your own, but think of it this way. It's really just an audio file. So it may very well be music, but it could also be a blurb from your narrator. Mm -hmm. It could be you speaking. If you want to talk to your readers, go right ahead. Um, They're used to your voice. And if they're not, they might want to get used to your voice. So that would be a Mm -hmm. cool way to personalize Mm -hmm. that and put your spin on it. So, um, When you're thinking about uploading your own, um, you can think outside of the box. It would not have to be just music. Can I just ask you about um, licensing for the the music and also for the graphics? We're all sweet with Book Brush. We don't have to worry about that. Yep. At the top here, it says um, commercial free music. And these are all the ones that we put in are all commercial free music that you can use um, without question. When you upload into my music, I think when you click to upload, there's maybe a checkbox that you're acknowledging that you have permission to use it. So you'll make sure if you're putting in a different type of music that um, it's one that's okay for you to use. Um, Then as far as the graphics and things, and so it's either videos um, or background images, those all source from Pixabay. Our system is set to pull the ones that are free for commercial use and the ones that we build into these templates, if you wanted to keep these, those are, of course, free for commercial use. But as you search and when we do a search, I'll show you there's a little, it's not a secret, it's a little spot, it's a secret spot, but a little spot to click that shows you, you can verify that it says free for commercial use on Pixabay. So um, lots of people share that same concern that you have. And we want to make sure, you know, um, you, you're going to be okay. And if you upload your own images, then you would just know that anything you upload, you need to make sure you're allowed to use. Cool. So very good question. So let's listen, have a listen through some of the music here. You can see little snippets. Um, this one here says break free and there's a little play button next to it on the left. So we'll play a couple things here. The one we had. Then you can see there's rainy day. That one starts a bit quieter. So you can't adjust the volume. I'm gonna get some ones that I think are kind of Christmassy. So we'll do snowflake as one. (laughs) And hopefully um, like with the videos and the music, it's really smooth on my side. I know sometimes when you're streaming live, it can sound or look a little choppy. So just bear in mind, if you get that vibe, when you yourself are working in book brush, it'll be a little smoother for that. And then I'll play this winter snow. So you could have a listen through the whole, you know, part, and then you can change uh, multiple times if you want to. But I'm going to pick the snowflake one. So in order to add that, and what we're going to do is replace the audio that is there. I'll click the plus button here next to it where it says add to video. And then this confirmation pops up at the bottom that says successfully replaced. So you're like, whew, got that one in there. And then you can just work your way across the bottom in the right-hand corner at the bottom, click next. 
And each of these circles is going to change size here at the bottom so you know which bit you're working on. So right now we're on, we place this background video. So of course you can leave it, but I want to change all the things. So what we'll do is pick out a Christmas video here. On the left hand side, you'll see four tabs. These are search and saved with the video camera. So search is going to source from Pixabay. Saved means you could upload your own video if you happen to have it. And then there are two more tabs with an image. And these are search and saved with images. So again, search is going to source from Pixabay. Saved lets you bring in your own. On each of these thumbnails here, and I'm going to, there's the first one. It's black with snowflakes. And this is where you can check the hyperlink for license and source. So there's a little oval in the upper right corner with three dots. You can click that and it's going to hyperlink you to Pixabay. And then there's a little spot that you can see it says free for commercial use. Those are the ones we pull um, and source. But if you want to see it for yourself, then you can. So you can search um, different videos. Normally, I search um, Christmas lights here. Tis the season and we rotate through different topics. So Christmas is here. But in case you need Christmas in July, you can always search Christmas lights here. And you'll see different thumbnails of videos. You can hover over them to see what they're going to do. And then if you see one you like, you just go ahead and click. And again, you get this confirmation, successfully replaced, and you're set. So then you'll click Next in the lower right. And now we're on text. So I want to talk about text a little bit, um, but I'm going to pause. Did anybody have questions or comments that you want to add in on what we've done so far for your folks? The only thing uh, um, I, I thought would be really, really interesting, and I don't know how, if that's going to be a bit more time consuming, is the fact that we could actually make these for TikTok, right? Yes, you sure can. Mm -hmm. um, so these templates here are horizontal. So they're suited mm -hmm. more for Facebook and things like that. You can switch the sizing when you have it in the workspace if you toggle into advanced mode. Um, the thing would be since, and as you know, TikTok or Instagram reels are vertical. So you would just need to resize this horizontal video so it fits vertically. So you're going to see a slice of it, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. because it's not the same size, but you can totally do that. Um, if you get your wits about you and you want to start doing them from scratch, you can just start from scratch with the vertical size and do it that way too. Mm -hmm. So the answer is yes, you can do that. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll also, when we're done with this, look at the animated mock-ups. We have some nice vertical versions there that are quick and easy to do. Cool. So yeah, so here with the text, and again, we're in easy mode. We we are striving to make this like a painless process for you. So if you use Book Brush normally, you'll see the text has lots of options. And if you click more options on the left, this is what you're used to seeing this really robust section here. We kind of like the skinny version. So um, really, you're just replacing your text and replacing your font. And you can switch between more options and fewer options um, if you want to. But that makes the trailer part a little more streamlined. I'm also going to take a tiny step out of here and talk about one of my favorite blog posts for you. And then I'll make sure that this is in your comments for you. This is one of our blog posts that has topography tips and, and the reason I'm talking about it, 35 font pairings. So if you're doing a book trailer, I'm going to scroll down to these font pairings, and you don't have a branded font, you can look through the fonts here to find ones that are going to give off the right vibe for your genre. So we have romance font pairings, mystery font pairings, thriller. I mean, this is important because you might mm -hmm. see a font you really love but you've inadvertently yeah. given off this thriller vibe and you're trying to do a romance book trailer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, whoopsie. Yeah, sure. yep. So, and then I think I skipped. So fantasy, historical, sci-fi, horror, children's, and then um, the one I'm going to look at here are holiday font pairings. Mm -hmm. So this could go a little mm -hmm. bit differently for you and then what you might normally choose in your genre if you're doing a holiday-themed one. These font pairings are super popular. Um, in, in our um, Facebook group and on Instagram and things like that. So these font pairings are a blog post from last year. 
um, in 2022, we posted a font pairing once a month. So those are going to be combined um, early next year into a second font pairing blog, which uh, is a really nice resource. And then we'll make sure the two of those link. But what I'll do is copy and just paste this into the chat so you have it Thank to you. add to wherever okay. folks. Uh, it's, it's a nice little resource. Mm -hmm. So now we're heading back to Trailer Creator after that little detour here. And just to look at if you found a font in there that you really like, you can click in Book Rush, and this is going to be in any of the tools, and it's free and paid. So if you're looking for great fonts, in the font section, click Add More Fonts, and then you'll get to a place where we have a thousand Google fonts. These are Google fonts free for commercial use. You can filter. You can also change the sort by name. So if you saw one you really like and you know what it starts with, you can just zip right through. Admittedly, if it starts with like B or C, it's going to be a quicker process than if it starts with yeah. W, yeah. But, but you'll get there. And then um, let's just say this was one um, bangers. It's in the thir third uh, column, second row down. We'll click that. If you like that one, just click a check mark and it'll add it to your list. So that's where to find these. And an extra little feature here on the right is uploading your own custom font. So if you do have a font that's your branded font and you've purchased it, bring it into Book Brush and then you can use it in all your graphics and book trailers and stay on brand for you. All right, so I added these ahead of time so it would be a little bit smoother. So Glass Antigua, so we don't have the arrow the whole way through, is one of the Christmas font pairings. So that's gonna, we're just gonna simply change it to Glass Antigua, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna leave your passage here. So I didn't create a crafty uh, four sentences for you to have to watch me type and put in here. So we'll change, <laughs> change that. So there's our first text box. And then we'll hop back down to the lower right and click next. And then again, we're going to replace this background video. So sometimes when I talk about the searches, you can search for something super obvious like Christmas. You could search Christmas, romance, you could search romance, but there are also other search words like you could search candle. It's kind of a Christmassy word, kind of a romantic word, but it could give you some different types of things. So keep that in mind um, if you're looking for different types of things. Can I you know, just ask you, oh, sorry. Sure. If, if you've got one video that's 17 seconds long and you just want to roll with that one video, is so you just work on that one and that's it? You just download that one and that's how it works? You don't have to go for the full 38 or whatever? For sure. What you could do is, and we'll do this, we'll toggle between easy and advanced, and I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. So in the top stripe, we'll switch over to advanced, and this is why easy mode is so awesome. This whole timeline is here with different videos mm -hmm. and different sections for the text. You could simply delete one, like there's a ah, little X, right. okay. and then yeah. I could grab this other one and, and make it much longer. Yeah. Uh, nice. I'm not going to do that, um, <laughs> but you could. So that would be yeah. another way if you found yeah. one that was nice. Um, and there's other editing that you can do in here too. So we'll come back to this side, but That's the answer cool. is yes. Thank you. So we'll go back to easy mode and we will get to this one here. So I'm just clicking the circle at the bottom to find our spot and we can put in a candle and I'm actually clicking one that's 60 seconds, but it's only going to fill the spot for mm -hmm. the um, template had. So it won't run 60 seconds unless you go into advanced and changed it. So then we'll click next and we can start speeding up here. So here's what we'll do. Click, change this one to similar glass Antigua, leave your passage here and just click next. Now the first two we did videos. So to be fair, let's also do two images so you see how it works. Mm -hmm. So again, you could choose like a Christmassy image here. I'll go ahead and click Christmas so we or type it in so we can see even more. So what these are going to be is a static image and then it's going to move. So mm -hmm. if you click this one once we get to it it's going to have what they call a ken burns effect it's an animation effect he must be famous and so that's the way it will move <laughs> it, to have a whole animation named after you is pretty remarkable <laughs> click next so this um text section will take you a tiny bit longer because you're going to put your passage in i'm just changing mm -hmm. the font mm -hmm. But of course, it will be easier for you because you're the one who wrote the book. So you'll have your, your sentences probably a little bit uh, more easily sorted. Well, you'd hope so. 
Yeah, well, you sure would. <laughs> All right. So I've clicked another image here. Click next. And then I'm just putting a book in. So this is on the book step and it'll substitute that one in and then we'll go ahead and check out our handiwork here. So in the workspace, there's a little stop button. I'm gonna go back and push play and we'll see what we created. Now keep in mind, it's the same template from before that had a whole different city vibe. And now we're gonna see this one. I'm going to pause for a second. You're also in control of the placement. So you can just, if this um, text box would look nicer, place somewhere else with the video you chose, you can just grab and move that. And then um, it will appear there instead. Brilliant. We like the drag and drop. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm sure you caught this, but this particular one is not a video. It's that shifting image. So it's mm -hmm. got that yeah. effect. Yeah. Good. And that's it. And I taught nice. it. And look how quickly we made that. Yeah. Very yeah. good. It's pretty cool, isn't it? That would yeah. be the sort of flimsy sort of um, project you could do after that. A hard day's work. If you're doing your accounts or your writing, you could do it mm -hmm. at night, sort of, and have a bit of a play with images and yeah. Well, let me just say, this. I can do it. Anybody can do it. <laughs> well, and since you're picking the images and videos, you know, no matter what level of heat or blood or whatever um, you're picking, um, I help somebody make one on a potato cookbook. So I'm telling you, anything is possible. Once we found those <laughs> photogenic potato images, we were in luck. Um, so, so the sky's the limit. You're choosing yeah. the images, and you can yeah. do that. So. These would just download as an MP4, and then you can mm -hmm. post it anywhere that accepts that MP4. Brilliant. So let's there go over to advanced mode here in the top and talk a little bit more about the advanced mode. So once you have this in here, you can do some editing. Like you'll notice these passages here. Mm -hmm. This one's zooming in left. This one's just zooming in. If you like them to be more matchy-matchy, you could click this zoom in. And I'll make this just a little bit smaller here. You could go to entrances uh, and change uh, it yeah. to mm -hmm. wherever that is. So yeah. now that I've clicked it, this is zooming in left, this is zooming in left. So you could coordinate those. Mm -hmm. You can also adjust the time it zooms. So if you stretch this out, it's gonna zoom in more slowly. And if you um, reduce the length of time, it's gonna zoom quickly. So if, you, know, you can change how that works. And then if, let's say you wanted this book trailer to be about additional books, you could add more books and have one in each video. So it could be about four different books if you want to do something like that. Mm -hmm. And I'll just quickly show you how to add something. If you wanted another book or maybe the Amazon logo, whatever, click up here in the top left to say book. And uh, if you wanted a different ebook in here, we'll click on it. I'll click a book. Now here's, here's the key right here. Once it gets in here, it is static. So mm -hmm. meaning it's going to be in your whole entire trailer until mm -hmm. you double click it. And then it's down here in the timeline. You need to give it an animation. So give it a job so it knows what to do. So we'll click it and then we can do an entrance. Maybe we just want it to simply just fade in. So we can do that. Now it's in the timeline. You can move this around. Right. And you'll notice these other ones have hide. So just mm -hmm. quickly, you can add additional ones. In this line for the book, click the plus button in the right. Mm -hmm. And hide lives in exit. So we can just add a hide, move this around. So you can, and let me do one other thing. In the background step, there's a little lock button here. Mm -hmm. That lets you scroll, but keep your videos in a static position. So if you want to make sure this book comes in, in video wow. two, then you can do that. So that That's would right. be helpful for you. Yeah, I think I might have interrupted somebody to who somebody had a question or a comment. No. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'll just I'll say that I'll just say I really like the visual dashboard there. And if anybody yes. used PowerPoint, this will be the the terms are very familiar. So you can sort of, you know, in terms of the um animations of the different 
uh, the movement names, you know, fading in, fading out, that kind of thing. Um, but I really like the timeline. You can see it really easily. And just, yeah, that's very cool. Very easy, easy to use. So this all goes down to text as well. You can fade the put the text in at, at different areas and stuff fade in and out. So it's all the same, isn't it? Yes. So you could change all of these so that they all come in at a different time or um, yeah. change the animation. There's there's a lot of personalization you can do. Um, so depending how much time you want to spend, if it's your reward and you're enjoying it, have at it. But if you need a quick book trailer, you can just yeah. you know do those basic steps here. Then I was also going to show you, you would want to save it as a project um, here at the top of the timeline here. But then if you wanted to make changes, like for example, you can click on size in the upper left and then the TikTok logo is in here. So if you want Brilliant. to change this, this is where you'll need, you, you're familiar probably with the eye icon that we have mm -hmm. um, in the other tools. Same thing here, because you're gonna need to stretch your video and position it this way and then resize some of these uh, images as well. But you can do it. You're just going from the complete horizontal to the complete vertical. So it's a little bit of rearranging so that it, it suits um, that size. That eye is really brilliant because when you change something from one size to another, you often lose half the work because simply because you can't see it. It's actually there, but it's yeah. with the eye suddenly it's, you know, and Just you can the, uh, move this along the timeline. So if you need to see what's happening and it could be that your text could be way off in one corner or the other. So you may really need that eye or you're like, where did that text box go? It is in the timeline, but I do not see yeah. it. So, <laughs> yep. So that's a book trailer. Um, people love this, but they also like quick versions. So I wanted to take a look at the animated mock-ups for your audience mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. And you can tell me how we're doing on time here. Yes, yeah, good. good. Yes. Good. I'm going to go back to home. So in the top stripe, we'll click home here. And animated mockups are in the custom creator. So we'll go into custom creator. And these are in community templates. So we did community templates in the trailer. Same deal in here. Super great place to start and get things done quickly and get some ideas as well. Mm. So I would click on collections here in the filter options and we have animated mockups and also TikTok videos. So here we'll just have a look at kind of, I'll scroll a little bit. So you would substitute your book, click the um, lightning bolt to change and then I'll push play. And it's very simple, isn't it? So easy. Yeah. Stop here in a second. 13 seconds, which is what you kind of the time frame you want to be in for TikTok. Mm -hmm. And if you like to personalize things, you can. So, of course, we're going to swap in our book cover here. And then um, I think a lot of you use Book Brush, but are you familiar with the um, color picker? Yes. This, in case anybody doesn't know, this is a hidden gem for sure. So <laughs> this text right here says coming this spring, and it's a lovely pink color. But mm -hmm. if you click on the text color here and click the eyedropper, so there's a little circle of the current color, click the eyedropper, we can bring it over and match one of the reds in the dress without knowing the color code. So it's a super handy way to get graphics that are on brand for you. Now, in this case, her dress actually, when you zoom in, has a lot of colors of red. But... It will help you take these animated mock-ups and put your spin on them. So they coordinate a little bit more That's with your book. That's such a cool thing. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And Kathleen, can you down, can you save it without the music from Book Brush and then add the TikTok, you know, the trending sounds when you upload it? These yeah, are going to... These are going to have the music. I'm sorry, but in the book trailer, you could do one without music, I think. Okay. But the thing is, Shay, it doesn't matter because in TikTok, there's an option that you can go in down yeah. the bottom and cut the audio and just add yours. Even yeah. better. Yeah. So you can, have, you, you can download it with music. No worries. Brilliant. Yeah, that would probably be the easiest. In here, yeah. you can edit everything except the music because these are meant to be a pretty quick option. So gotcha. yeah. Yeah. what you no, hear is what, what you just get. Just hold it with the little mute um, thingy mm -hmm. on TikTok. Right, gotcha. If you want yep, to. There's, a, there's an option to remove that background mm -hmm. music and add yours, which is good. Brilliant. Perfect. 
All right. So I was going to look at a couple more of these just because they're pretty fun. Here's one. Um, so here's one that has Black Friday. It's still great for the holidays. So you just click the text and change it if you want to, mm -hmm. but it's kind of fun. And if like, cause this is a square and audio book, if that's not your jam, you can just use the garbage can to delete that and then come over to book template. And we have over 255 3d versions for your book. So um, just one place, the book brush shines with a lot of author centered things. I'll show off one of my new favorites here under the multi devices are these ones that are going to show your book in multiple ways with one click. So I can Ooh. click this, add the book. So the multi-devices are a great way to communicate to your followers mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. the ways they can get your book without saying, hey, here are all the ways I can get your book or you can yeah. get my book. Yeah. yeah. So Very that's cool. a nice little shortcut for you. And these, um, if you save them, are going to save as a mini GIF or GIF in your account. And then they're going to download as an MP4. You just upload them anywhere that accepts right. an MP4. Wonderful. That is so, such an easy, usable mm -hmm. template. Mm -hmm. Yep, really is. And short and sweet seems to be the way videos are going, isn't it? So, yeah, brilliant. Keep yourself um, looking flashy on social media without being the one up there dancing around mm. and things like that. And the thing about all of this content is it's it's reusable everywhere, like, you know, Instagram mm -hmm. and TikTok and Facebook. It's like, you know, you can use it on anywhere. Facebook My newsletter. Can't you? Yeah, you can go size. anywhere with it. Mm. Mm. But you can also change it in the ad size on the left. You yep. can change I was, it to any Cheryl and I are on the same path here. I was going <laughs> to say, you could download this one vertically, the vertical version, and then you could hop over if you wanted the square mm -hmm. and then just resize within this space. I'd probably make both of these larger. and But then it's going to, people will recognize you because you've got the same branding and same elements across mm. multiple social media platforms. And it's quick because you didn't start from scratch. You're using the elements that were already there. Mm. So it's kind of win-win. Yeah. Very nice. Now that is very cool, actually. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, one other thing I wanted to squeeze in here would be the QR codes if we have time mm -hmm. for that. We yeah, have yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's go, we'll just go out to home here. And we'll, so it clears out. I'll talk about QR codes for a second. You probably have um, followers who are using these. You can make it in BookBrush, which is a nice little shortcut, but I want to talk about where to put them. Mm -hmm. So these are things that you can put on printed materials for the most part, because what's going to happen is the reader or your follower is going to scan it with their phone. So you kind of want to think about it if they're looking at it on their phone, it's not easy to scan with your phone. So they need um, like maybe a printed item. So my example here would be to create a bookmark and then put your QR code on there so you can help direct them to um, learn more about you. So in the custom creator, you can do a bookmark from scratch. That would be here in the ad sizes under other. There mm -hmm. are bookmarks in here. If you are in a time crunch, you can also go into the community templates. And under platform, there's oodles of things in here. Mm -hmm. Please please look around when you have time. But this bookmark section could give you a place to start here. So we could grab a bookmark. Of course, you're going to click and change the text to your text, your um, branded font, and things like that. And then for the QR code, those live over here on the left-hand side in elements. Mm -hmm. Scroll down here to create a QR code. And what we'll, we'll just make one for this one. So you need a URL. So I'll grab this one. You would likely want to use your um, website, mm -hmm. but I'll paste it in. Click generate. Oh, brilliant. So you can generate the QR code right yes. within BookBrush. Fantastic. And then I'll click save QR code. And now it's going to be down in here um, every time I come in. So you don't have to make a new one each time. Mm -hmm. And it saves it with a little label here at the bottom so you can tell what it is. And that's especially important because if you're using your website and you have different pages, you may potentially have the beginning looks the same. Like if I had several mm -hmm. that started with bookbrush.com and then had different mm -hmm. things. Um, mm -hmm. So to help you keep track, you can it will expand. And then you just nice. click. And I can either resize it by grabbing the corners or over here, use the slider 
Oh, easy peasy. And place mm-hmm. it where you want. Um, if you like things very orderly and centering, you can click on the centering tools um, over here on the right hand side. It's a little grid. It says toggle grid lines. One click for grid lines, one click for centering tools. And hopefully this shows up. These little blue lines mm-hmm. show up so you can see that it's smack in the center. Um, these are also movable. So if you need them somewhere else, you can adjust where they're at. Um, I will admit I tend to eyeball most things, but these are there for you if you like mm-hmm. that kind of thing. And that so that's on the right hand side. One click for grid lines, a second click for movable centering tools, and the third click turns those back off. So Wonderful. that's how really easy it is. Um, mm-hmm. And then I don't know, what other places do you suggest for your followers for um, QR codes? There's lots of ideas out there. Um, I mean, I was thinking like stickers if you're giving away any merchandise, like you could have a little yes. sticker actually printed mm-hmm. with a QR code on it and put, pop that on the bottom. But um, yeah, printed things generally. Um mm-hmm. It's uh, nice um, in the back matter of your book or mm. the back cover of your book so that um, you can go ahead and put it on book one. And then when book three comes out, you're just updating your website, but not the brilliant. actual physical book. Mm-hmm. So yeah. say they pick up book one down the road, but now you have four books. They're scanning that QR code and it's up to date information. Nice. The printed matter itself could be out of date, but the QR code is since it's a website can always be updated. Yeah. With the most I like that. Yeah, mm. you could link it to a series page on your website, for example, and then keep adding, and that certainly saves adjusting all those links, doesn't it? In the yes, it's yeah. perfect for that, and then it's it's kind of like evergreen. So mm-hmm. even if it's book one or book two, when you go down the road, you can keep updating that. They will find those mm-hmm. books, so then they can purchase those. And I might be behind awesome. the eight ball completely here, which is very likely because um, I'm a bit of a QR code um, dinosaur. But I've noticed now if I point my camera at a QR code on my phone, it automatically reads it. Whereas previously I had to open a QR reader app. Now mm. it just point, point and zips me there. Mm. It's super slick. Um, I see it a lot in restaurants. You know, this was maybe mm. something courtesy of COVID where nobody wanted yeah. to touch a paper menu. And so then they came up with this. So you'll see the QR code for the menu, maybe in a restaurant. Mm. Um, my kids, I have three boys and their band concert programs are now just a QR code because they don't need all this paper. You can just yeah. scan, mm. see it on your mm. phone and be done. So outside of book brush, of course, there's lots of uses for QR codes, but in the author world, definitely a handy option. And you yeah. can make it in any paid plan. So it's not an additional cost for you. Yeah. It's Put it good. on your T-shirt. So when somebody's taking a photo of you. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're famous. <laughs> Very oh, good for author brilliant. signings and stuff like that too. Mm-hmm. You know, like taking it with yeah. you to have there or conferences or anything. Um, even on your business card, you know, like having one yeah, in the corner yeah. for your website and stuff yes, like that. Yes. I mean, it's, it's really handy, even if it's on the back. It could be yes. at a conference. Yes. You could have a, a QR code that people could click on to link to a free book that you could download or something like that. Instead yeah. Of, yeah, that's right. It's, there's so many options for it. It's got, it's got me thinking, which is just not what I need right now. But <laughs> so, <laughs> so I have a question for Kathleen. So I wonder if you could just quickly go over the, the pricing tiers and, and at what point can people access the kind of the – what I would consider the higher end of the offerings here for like with the um, um, animations and the videos and things. For sure. Yep. So let's do this. I'll go to the home screen in the upper left corner and I'll click on the pricing and I'll talk through it, but you'll know where to find it as well if you come into Book Brush. So this is our welcome page. And of course you can sign up for free at bookbrush.com and we would love you to join our Book Brush family. And then on the top stripe, we have pricing. And of course, with the free plan, you can create and download 15 of those basic images for free. So not animation, but all of the, you could make a bookmark, you could, it wouldn't have the QR code, but you can do graphics for Instagram, Facebook, things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, With the paid plans, you'll have more exciting features. So these are um, priced yearly. We do have a 30 day money back guarantee and we actually break it down monthly so that it doesn't seem so um, scary or intimidating. So it starts with the plus plan. It's 99 US dollars a year. And that is for a single author 
but unlimited pen names. So if you write in uh, multiple genres or multiple pen names, as long as it's you, that is fine. If you co-write or you're in an anthology, all that's fine too. And honestly, if you periodically want to make a nice graphic to congratulate a friend, that's fine because they might really like it and say, where did you do that? So <laughs> we, we just don't want you to do a whole entire uh, marketing portfolio for another author. Um, so it's a single yeah. author plan and you'll have unlimited downloads um, of all the things in the custom creator where we made the bookmark. We have um, all those 3D book templates. You can upload your own fonts. All the animation is included at that price point. And then we didn't talk about this, but you can also design your own book covers and book brush. And that is also on that first plan. We also have something new um, called a reader hub that can help you with word of mouth marketing, and you can create one of those on the plus plan too. So that's a great starting point. Mm -hmm. Gold, the middle plan is the most popular. It is $146 a year for US dollars, and it actually adds on um, to the plus plan, instant mockups, which those are like the people call mockups, flat lays, all of those great real life images where you drop your 2D cover in and can showcase it on social media like super quick. We have over 3,000 of those uh, mock-up templates. And then also a feature called the box set creator. So if you need to create an image with box sets, you can do that on the gold plan too. The top plan, if you want to treat yourself to platinum, and I promise you, I really think it's worth it. It adds in some extra exclusive platinum mock-ups with the Reader Hub, you can do three of those. Um, but probably one of the most enticing things is the trailer creator. So if you're mm. wanting to do book trailers, the Platinum Plan is where you want to be. Mm. And then we have another feature called Background Removal. And you'll get 10 credits of that per month. It's like this magical thing that removes the background. Right. Yes. So good. And yeah, so totally it's does. like you can use it on your so own good. picture, picture of those big shirtless men in kilts, whatever yeah. you need to do. <laughs> But yeah, so that is included there. So those are the three tiers. You can step from one to another mid-year. So if gold feels like the right place to start right now, you could do that one. And then a few months down the road, you could step to platinum and it will just calculate the difference for the rest of your plan year. Yeah. And just to reiterate, the platinum is $20.50 a month, which is very good value for yeah, <laughs> for yeah. and you do pay it yearly but it's what what the reason we ended up pricing it yearly is people need to use this every month it's not really mm -hmm. something that you use just one time you could but but you're always wanting to post on social media create new promos and things so um i know a lot of authors are in there multiple times a week mm -hmm. yeah and, well, and yeah. If, if you you know we all need um social media things and, and covers and things like that so if you could be paying like thousands a year so I, for that to, to get somebody else to do mm. it. So, you know, I mean, not that you need anybody pimping you out, Kathleen, but I, <laughs> I, I think it's it's so worth it, yeah. And I'm not uh, someone who does this sort of stuff very well, um, but I've been doing using BookBrush for years and it, um, it's just so easy because I can go back into old templates that are saved. Yes, just uh, And them. then I can just pull those up and then work on them or add a, a sale price or, or whatever and then download it and it looks professional. Yeah. Or something like the uh, header for your newsletter. You could design yeah. that in there and go ahead and save it with August. Well, guess what? You can just open it up the next month, substitute yeah. September, put in your in any new information and it's quick and easy to do. So you've got all your saved projects that you can reopen. Um, if you have some graphics that you designed for your first three books and you've added a fourth book, open that, add that book and then download again. And yeah. you have unlimited downloads on the paid plan. So um, it can be really enjoyable because it can be fun. You're creating all these things. Just keep downloading. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Is there a limit on how many projects you can save? Um, we used to say there was, but there wasn't. And so we just removed that. There, It was secretly unlimited, but we thought, well, um, but no, there's not a limit. And, and even yeah. in the save projects, and you may use this, you can make folders so you can organize your work mm. in there. Uh, and mm. that can be helpful too. I'm on the main screen and you can see these, you know, different projects and things that I have saved, mm -hmm. but I can uh, make folders. It, if you have a lot of projects, the folders might be nice so you can stay organized. Or pen names too. It's quite good to have them. Yes, yes. Names, yeah. For sure. If you're an, yeah, if you're an organized person, that'd be great. 
It's me. <laughs> it's all just like just it's just all merged and just sitting there. Fine. We're, well, we're trying to give you the tools, and then if it'll be up to you, you'll be there. They're there. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've got we've got a spare five minutes, guys. Are you okay if Kathleen just tells us about the Reader Hub? Yes, yeah. please. Go for yeah. it. Okay, I would love to. So this we launched just a couple months ago, and here's the premise behind it. So many times what you're making are marketing graphics and promo graphics. This gives you a way to make graphics that are focused on what the reader would say. And then you have a link to share them with the reader. Guess what the reader can do? Download them and post them to social media. So they're busy promoting you with great looking graphics that you made. So it's really word of mouth marketing. So here is where you would create the graphics. So I'll come in here. Again, custom creator is your friend. Come on in here. And then go into community templates. And in the collections tab here, we do have a new section that's called for readers. So when you look at these, you'll see a different perspective because they're more like what the reader is saying. Mm -hmm. So this first one here, I'll click on it. It says, this author never disappoints. Okay, you're not going to say that about yourself, but you can put the graphic mm -hmm. in here, put your book. And then when the reader says, I agree, and post this to social media, then mm -hmm. their friends who like the same kind of things they like are more likely to go check out your books. So we have, I'll, I'll show you some more of these in here. Um, I knew I would love this book after the first chapter. This is my new favorite book just added to my December to be read list. So you're giving yourself the, the words for your readers. Mm -hmm. um, you'll make these graphics here, lots of different choices in here. Um, I think this is a really fun one here. We've got our different little arrows in here. And you, if it's not a Kindle mm -hmm. Vela, you could change the book. Mm -hmm. But you wrote the book, so you know if there's a love tri triangle or what the things are of people like uh, witches or paranormal things. Mm -hmm. I like that. Those little tidbits are what other readers are looking for. Mm. So you can add those there. So these are the graphics you make. You'll create a reader hub, which is a unique URL. And I have one that's done. So I'm just going to hop over there and show you All the right. finished product. So I saved that here mm -hmm. in Firefox. So I switched browser so it didn't remember me. So this is what the reader <laughs> experience here. Um, you've got a unique URL. And it's evergreen, so you can change it as um, you have different promotions mm -hmm. and things. But this is one for Krista Sandor's book, Not Your Average Vixen. And there's an about section here. So she's got some information about herself, the social media um, links and things. And then here's the tab for these different graphics that the readers would download. Mm -hmm. So here's an example. Loved this Christmas romance from beginning to end. They, if they did love this, they can download it. Mm -hmm. Chances are they're going to view this hub on their phone. Most people are on a mobile device, so it's going to go right to their phone and then they can put it right into social media. And then in this example, we created the graphic in different sizes. So same message, but suited for the different mm -hmm. platforms. Mm -hmm. um, and here's some other ones. Delightful Christmas romance. My favorite Christmas romance. My favorite Christmas read. So you can change up the wording. Unputdownable. Well, what a great word. You know, if you, if you're <laughs> if my friend posted a book uh, example that said unputdownable, that would get my attention, mm -hmm. and then I could go look at it. So you're controlling the message, and you're giving them great looking graphics that readers don't usually have a way to make. So yeah. they're they may have been uh, very willing to promote you. They just have the tools to do so. So you mm -hmm. can now share this. And, and we've had authors say, readers would say, uh, may I share your book on social media? And the author politely says, yes. But in their head, they're thinking, yes, yes, yes. Please share it with <laughs> um, So now you're giving them the yeah. way to do that. Yeah. And here, there's another one of the um, animated mock-ups. So I'll show you another one here. Ah, so you can actually even share the animated mock-ups as well. Brilliant. Just cute and oh, cute. short. Yeah. Here's another one too. Nice. So the way of using this would be to have have your reader hub, and this would be, I guess, a natural use would be for your um, reader group and Facebook group. And this is, you know, the link that you'd have pinned yeah. to the top of your yeah. Facebook group and say share the love. Or you could run, for example, a competition. Um, if you've got 
five minutes, go share one of these images, tag me in it. As yes, a yes. And I'll enter you into the drawer for whatever, you know. Mm. And um, mm. I think that, that could be really, really, really useful. Um, and then I, I think you're exactly right there, possibly in your newsletter with some wording about mm. sharing it. It could oh, yeah, be in yeah. a link, link yeah. tree if you have a link yeah. tree, because the link mm. doesn't have to change, but the content could. So mm. you could make it a plan that quarterly you're going to change the images that are in here, or you may just do it when you have new things happening. Now, we talked about you can do a reader hub on plus and gold. The platinum folks can actually make three of these mm. and they can have two two tabs. So you can have a total of six on the platinum plan. Mm -hmm. This is nice again for different pen names. So you don't have it all mushed together. Mm, yep. If you have some different kinds of promotions happening in a tight time frame, they can both live and breathe. So if you're promoting one series and something else is happening here, you can do both of those and put them in different places. Maybe you have two different reader groups for, for your different series or genres. Nice. or pen names mm -hmm. but um it, people in our facebook group went bananas for this when we launched it this just launched in november and it was um, super exciting to see the reactions and things so if you mm -hmm. have a paid plan you already have access there's nothing else to buy or do you can just make those images so that is in a nutshell our um, answer for word of mouth marketing for yeah. our authors you're doing it. That's wonderful. Make it yeah, easy for yeah. people. Make it easy yes. for people to help you. Love it. Mm. Yeah. So very, very cool. Thank you. There's so that. Much. You will find mm. this here. I'm going to go back to Book Brush. If you haven't made one yet, when you come in here on the main page, it's in the upper right corner, the Reader Hub, yeah, okay. and click Learn More. And then you, when I click Learn More, when you're the first time you come in or until you've made one, there's a little video here so you can listen to me tell you how to make it, although it's not too hard. And then you'll create your new page and you're going to have a display name and a username. The mm -hmm. username just becomes your URL. So mm -hmm. um, if you added that in, it's mm -hmm. case sensitive, that's going to be your URL. So you could also put um, the... I was going to put the amazing, you like, you could fit this all in here, I think. <laughs> yeah. Your choice. Uh, yeah. yeah, so... You can create those. And then if you're on platinum, you'll be, have the choice here multiple times to create a page plus and gold once they create it, it's there, but you can go in and swap the images out. No problem. So say Cheryl wants to change her name to Stephanie King, for example, um, writing thrillers okay. as she as she might want to do one day. Can she delete that other reader hub page and change it and then create a new one from the start? Yeah, you sure could. I would just be careful of where else you put it in case people yes, click on a link that's dead um, yeah. Yeah. or not yes. inactive that disappears. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. sure can. I think once you delete it, the system takes 30 days for you to make the same mm -hmm. one again. So it acts like the old one still exists in the background. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yes, you could you could do that. Or it might be something if you really want the two of them you could contemplate stepping up to platinum for yeah. that reason so that they can both live. Gotcha. Yeah. Coexisting in there. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's really awesome. Really awesome. Well, that's, that's amazing. And I think uh, we've all got some uh, little tips there that I'm sure we'll be yeah. diving into very, mm -hmm. very shortly. I'm just like, oh no, my head hurts. More to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. There's your afternoon sorted. I mean, yeah. you know, go well, I think days. <laughs> yeah. writers don't need to write, do they? I mean, we can no, be no, just no. doing that. <laughs> you know, we have here at Book Brush had the complaint that this was so much fun in here. Mm. The writer didn't get yeah. back to writing. And I hate to be on the hook for that. Um, <laughs> so pace, pace yourself. Uh, <laughs> that's so awesome. Thank a you little so bit of a match. Well, thank right. you so much for yeah. joining us today, Kathleen. Uh, we're very happy to ha um, have you here. And um where would be the best link for people to, um, well, not so much contact you, but to learn about BookBrush? Probably just hopping into bookbrush.com. And mm. then I'm also going to put in the chat here, let me share my screen one more time. I promise I'll give you this back after this. Our um, YouTube channel also has mm. a lot of information here. So I'll put that in. Yep. These are like nugget sized. So I try to make these each um, just two to three minutes long. So you get uh, one new tip 
without your head hurting. And then you can go try that tip. So um, subscribe to us on YouTube too for different tips and things like here's the reader hub, but just different ones. Like one day we said, hey, those color blurs are a time saver um, they, Like or dive into doing a business card. So that would be yeah. another place, but I'll just put then when I get out of here, uh, bookbrush.com in the chat also. Right. Right. Thank it's you so, so much for that. And where can we be found, Sha? So we are the same. We're at spygirlspodcast.com. And we're also on YouTube at uh, Spy Girls Podcast. Um, we will obviously make sure the links that Kathleen mentioned are all in the show notes as well. But I do urge you to go over to our YouTube channel. Uh, thank you to all of those that have subscribed to it at Spy Girls Podcast. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, thanks, everybody, for listening. And uh, we'll be back uh, same time next week, same bat channel. And um, take care, everybody, and have a great week. Thank you, Kathleen. Bye for now. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.